What's up, Vikes? It's Twin Day, and I'm Aiden. We're gonna go check out what's up with Norsenuk. And I'm Aiden, and we're gonna go see what the wrestlers did this morning. Mrs. Noble will be visiting with the juniors tomorrow to show how to apply for next year's internship class. Mrs. Christopher's leadership class is arranging an assembly for suicide awareness. Responses will be accepted February 9th to February 14th. A coin drive will be held during seminar on February 21st to raise money for the suicide hotline organization. The North Nook is getting up and running. We caught up with Mr. Tinsley to talk about it. Hi, Vikes. I'm here with Mr. Tinsley to talk about the North Nook. So, Mr. Tinsley, when did the North Nook first open? The North Nook uh, was an idea that Mr. Monahan had, and it actually started last year over the summer, where they created some space, you know, by the lunchroom to have our, our school store, and then we had a school competition to name the store, and we're slowly building it to where we can get comfortable to having it open, you know, during the school day. Right now, it, it's open during like home basketball games and other school events where community members, students, parents could come in and buy items. Uh, but currently we're working on trying to develop that a little more to where it could be open during the school day possibly. That's really cool. How is business doing so far? Um, business doing really good. I know the first basketball game night that is open, I think we had $2,000 worth of sales. Uh, so it's been, and this is, the items that we're selling are uh, provided by the Booster Club. And you know, the goal would be hopefully to where students can learn some some job marketing skills where they could come up with product ideas, you know, talk about the selling aspect with, with pricing and marketing and advertising. So really the sky's the limit on what we can do with the score with the store. Oh, that's cool. So how can we as students apply to work there? Um, students, you know, we we can have students volunteer to give it community service hours to work and also uh, our, our plan is to have clubs and organizations sign up to work there to where they can maybe get 15% of the sales during that. So it, it's really to benefit the students, benefit the school. Um, you can contact me or any of the other business teachers on Schoology. I've had a lot of students already come up with product ideas that they'd like to see in the store. Um, really, it's we want it to be student-driven, and we want to get the word out on what we're trying to do. I know currently my web design class, we're making a website to where we can have orders placed online. Uh, so any ideas that you guys have that you think may work with the store, feel free to reach out to me or any one of the other business teachers. All right, thank you very much. Make sure to come out to the North Nook. If you're interested in making merchandise and working for the North Nook, talk to Mr. Tinsley. Key Club is hosting a lip sync battle on February 21st. Sign up for your solo or as a group online by February 10th. The registration deadline for ACT prep with Caroline Devine is tomorrow. Forms can be found on the link on the school bulletin on Schoology. Kiss the Pig starts next Monday. Put the money in the jar for the teacher you want to save. All proceeds will benefit SCARS, a dog rescue. STCLA gains three new officers, Emma Dowd, Kylie Hawes, and Caden Fox. Kylie Hawes was elected as a state officer candidate. Kylie will run for this office at the end of February. Caden Fox became our new FCCLA District E West President for 2018 and 19 school year. Kane will be attending the national meeting this summer in Atlanta. Emma Dow was elected to be the FCCLA District Office, also as the Vice President of Public Relations. Students are reminded that they need their student ID for the dance and their outside date needs an ID. The cost of admission is $5. Tomorrow's spirit theme is country. To the better looking twin with the sports. Well, off to class. You can't go yet. You have to fix this terrible parking job. Oh, gee. Thanks. Forget about the parking. Just go on to class. You don't want to be late. But the person next to you isn't going to be able to park. No, it's... Who cares? He's going to be late to class. You know what? I should fix it. You gotta do the right thing. See ya, devil. Go! Be courteous to other students. Park in your assigned spot. Be a Viking. And Friday is country. Are you looking to show someone that they are special this Valentine's Day? Want to support the Interact Club? I have some good news. 
Interact Club will be selling Valentine grams during lunch. The cost is $1 and includes a Hershey's Kiss. They will be delivered during seminar. What more could you possibly want? Remember, Interact Club, Valentine grams, Hershey's Kisses, $4 at lunch. Get one now! Girls that are interested in signing up for Swim and Dive, go to the informational meetings on February 14th. Freshmen will meet in the West Commons at 10.50. 10 to 12th graders will meet in room 911 at 3.10. The Centennial League Swim and Dive Champions will be held Thursday and Friday at the Cap Fred Auditorium in Hummer Sports Park. Diving on Thursday at 4, swimming on Friday at 4. To aiding with, aid in with the weather. Currently it's 44 degrees and tonight it will be 43. On Friday the high will be 30 degrees and the low will be 13. Saturday it will be 19 degrees and the low will be 12. And on Sunday it will be 31 degrees and the low 14 degrees. Today is Clay Thompson's birthday and National Boy Scouts Day. Fortnite is taking America by storm. We talked to some people about it. Fortnite is the newest game that everybody is playing with over 40 million people downloading the game and people are talking about it everywhere. I think this game is really popular because one, it's free, so honestly anybody can play it and it's not that hard to learn. Um, I like how it's like the Hunger Games. I currently have one solo win, two duos, two or three duos, and four squads. The best way to win this game is by getting good weapons. You can get weapons out of chess or from other players. My favorite weapon is obviously the Golden Scar. Uh, probably the Legendary Bolt. I think I get those long range snipes off. I like the legendary RPG. This one time, I think I was playing with Cameron Lee and Braden Ewing, and the circle was ending. This is my first win ever. The circle was ending on um, Moisty Meyer. So I'm sitting there fighting in this pond, right? And them two decided to go down and leave me against a full squad. Somehow, I clutched the win with my snipers. At the start of the game, you hop off of a bus and land at one of the various places on the map. Yeah, I like to land at T-Town, go eat some tomatoes while I wreck noobs. Um, I always like to land by like the big like church area, you know what I'm talking about? Like, not like the church area, but like by a grocery store, so I can always go in and then like I get usually the stuff that's in the grocery store, yeah, you know. You know, tilted, man. Gotta go to those buildings. Yeah, either tilted or Salty Springs. I wouldn't consider myself good, but I also would not consider myself bad, you know? Um, I lose a lot. I think um, I made it to like 23, and that was like the farthest I made it. But, I mean, other than that, I'm not bad, you know? The main goal of this game is to win. You can accomplish this by being the last one surviving in a game. Sounds fun, Aiden. What do you think? Yeah, I got a couple of wins myself. This morning, the wrestling team played some basketball and ate some bagels. We're going to close the show and see what they did.